Hey guys, it's Christina here, and today's video is going to be a pet vlog, and I will be telling you guys how I got my splint. Um, so I'm actually going to take you guys to a little drawing I did, just so you can get the explanation better. Okay, so let's just pretend this is a horse arena, and so my trainer was having Ricky and I do like a circle here, and then we would jump a cross rail. And Ricky isn't consistent at all, like some days he's very sensitive and you just kind of have to pull on the reins a little bit in order to make him change direction or stop. Other days you really have to muscle it out and pull to the left if you want this horse to go left. So that is what happened today basically. So what happened was we were in a canter and we went around here and what actually happened we broke into a trot here. We had done two really bad jumps so we were already kind of headed downhill. And what ended up happening, we were cantering, we went around here, when he got to this corner, he broke into a trot. He jumped it kind of long, and then he cantered off after the jump, and I wasn't expecting the canter, to be honest, after the jump. Like I said, he's really inconsistent, and before he just trotted after the jump. So he pretty much ran off, and when I pulled him to go left, I didn't muscle it enough. So he didn't go left, he kept going straight, and this is the end of the arena, this is the fence right here. It's pretty weird, like in these situations, time just kind of slows down and you have what seems like a long time to think, when in reality it's only a few seconds. So it was very weird, like it felt more like 10 seconds when really it happened in about 3 seconds. So the reason I sat up out of the saddle is because I knew his movement to the right, I would end up flying off, and I didn't want my foot to get caught in the stirrup. So that is why I kind of like sat up and also so I could prepare myself because I knew the fence was right here and I didn't want his movement to make me go into the fence. So what I actually ended up doing was that when he made that movement, I tucked so that I fell down right here, right next to the fence. But then unfortunately what ended up happening was that my last reaction was to let go of the reins. So Ricky was sort of kind of like caught by me and his when I was here, when I was down right here, you know, Ricky was here, he juked, his back end actually came up over here. So if you can imagine that if I tucked, my feet sort of ended up, so my body, this is like my body, then my feet were like here-ish. That is a terrible drawing, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. And well, basically what ended up happening is that he stepped on my foot. It did not hurt at all. What really hurt was when he stepped on my foot, and then I was like, ooh, there is the pain. Like, I first fell on the ground, and for a second, I was just like, ouch, like, oh, darn it, I fell off. And then I saw Ricky, and he tried to avoid me. He was very, very good. I could see he was trying to, like, step away from me, and then I was like, oh, shoot, I hope he doesn't step on me. Then he stepped on my foot, and I was like, oh, there we go, there's the pain.